There's dozens of ways to do almost anything in Power Query, counting rows included. Whether you're cleaning up sales data or building up dashboards, knowing how to tally rows can save you from some major Excel-inducing migraines. In this video, I'll walk you through multiple methods to count rows in Power Query. Some you may know, some that will have you questioning how you ever live without them. So let's make your Power Query skills a little less meh and a little more, oh, that's slick. Stick around. So here I have a table. Just to make this easy, let me do a control shift down arrow. There's about 3,000 records here. Control shift up arrow. Let me bring this into Power Query and let's see how we have different ways of counting. I'm going to go to data, get and transform data from table and range. It's going to bring up the Power Query editor and it brought in my table. Let's get rid of this change type. So because it just, it just changes the type here. This is text, text number. I'm going to remove that, make it easy for us. So let's go to transform. And on the table, we have count rows. So you can see it added an extra step here. Let's try another way. Manually add a step, click on the FX here. Source is my previous step. In front of it, I will type in table dot row count. Let me select this one. Whoops. Let me reference, let me reference the previous step, which is called source. Press enter. And I have my 3000 here. What you may have also noticed is this function is the previous one here count rows this count rows is actually that function so that's if you want to get nerdy that's what you would type x that let's remove that step let's try something else now another way we can do it is add an index column go to add column index column let's start from one this becomes useful if you want to use these index numbers later on but if we wanted to use that as a count click on index short sort descending our last one is 3000 so it kind of gives us a count Let's undo this. Here's another way. Go to transform. And let's go to state. Let's select that column to do some counting. Go to statistics. And let's count values. And it's going to give us 3,000. But the nice thing about this is it also counts the unique values. X out that step. State again. Go to transform. Statistics. And count distinct values. And in this range of data, it has all 50 states. Let's remove that step. And if you knew that you had under a thousand records, but you didn't know exactly how much, you can actually see it here. So let's say, for example, I just wanted to show Alabama. Click OK. I know I only have 59 rows. So if you knew that you had less than a thousand values records, looking at the data profiling metadata here, it shows you that. Let's do another one. Now we, we know we have 59 rows for Alabama. What we can do if we want to get it for everything, clear filter, select the state value column field, right click, and go to group by, and we want to group by the state. We want to count it, click OK. It counts, it counts for each state. Let's see if it's right. Let's make this ascending. Alabama, 59. So it gives us our count. If counting rows in Power Query was on your, what the heck do I do now list? Hopefully now that's checked off. Whether you use count or go the full DIY with index columns, these methods work great in both Excel and Power BI. Thanks for watching and see you the next one.